December is a month flooded with advertisements and sales of all sorts to remind us of what we don't have. With all this shopping, do we ever stop to think what labor or industry is involved in the production or distribution of supply in our needs? Or are we entranced by deals and our need to consume? Today, we are going to take a brief look into an industry and product which has become such a standard that for many, it would cross the mind no more than getting up in the morning. Shoes. you don't have the proper footwear, your whole body feels it. So if you're wearing improper shoes, they're not the right size, they're not enough arch support, your body's going to feel it. Our store is a more higher boutique. It's more definitely higher end. So a lot of our shoes should last you much longer. Of course, season to season, a pair of classic Uggs, for example, don't have much tread. So if they're not worn properly, you're going to replace them very quickly. But if you take care of them, most of our stuff is not going to break down in a short period of time, so that's tough to say. Our turnover is very quickly. We don't let anything sit. If something's not selling, we determine why it's not selling, and then we move it along. But unfortunately, there's not a lot of people that do repairs. There's two cobblers, but only having two, and that's more central to Burlington, he gets business, so he's, I think he's just a little more... His Is hands he? are tied up, yeah. We've got a pile of jackets over here that need zippers and buttons sewed on. And, uh, stuff like that, but uh, we just don't, so we're not taking in anything for the month of uh, December. And uh, when we stopped uh, on Monday, we were out to the middle of January. So we're, you know, almost seven weeks out right now. You know, so we're gonna try to catch up a little bit in this, this time we're not taking stuff in, or just you know, waiting on customers and uh, answering the phone. And it just takes a, a lot of time of, of the day. You can't get anything done. According to an analysis in 2006 by the Wolfson School of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering at Loughborough University in the UK, over 17 billion pairs of shoes are made each year worldwide. The United States claims the highest per capita shoe consumption, with the average American purchasing seven pairs of shoes each year. Um, not so much recycling, but I know you can donate it to your local, you know, the Salvation Army. I'm sure a lot of our customers will, if they're done wearing the shoes and they buy a new pair and they know they're not going to wear them, we suggest they sit them outside so that a lot of the homeless or needy people can take them from there. So You get people from all over the world. They're, they live here in Vermont now and, and they say, oh, the old country used to get our fix. There was a lot more cobblers in uh, Europe and uh, places that they've come from that uh, they would be able to get their shoes fixed. But, uh, you know, they're happy to find a cobbler. Um, as far as stuff that they probably have been thro thrown away, so they had a lot more money. And uh, so now people are deciding, well, maybe I could, if the boots are $150 or, uh, you know, they can get them redone for $65, $70. So it's at least worth getting them done one time, anyhow, you know, if it's already broken in anything that I can do myself, I try. So if I need to re-glue something, if it's just very basic, I stretch shoes, I stretch for bunions. So I do a lot of um, the things as well. So if I need to do basic stretching, basic gluing, anything like that, I'm able to do it. It's getting busier. A lot more people are getting everything fixed now. We get so many new customers, that even though we're, Steve's been here for 26 years, and oh, we finally found you, which is like they didn't even know he was here. Higher end products, customer service is key. I mean, my staff is well trained and they will give the best service. You, you just don't hand customer a pair of shoes. You want them to be acknowledged when you walk into the shop. You need to make sure their experience is wonderful. And if it's not, I need to know about it so that it can be. Um, they can order anything online. So again, I'd rather them come into our shop and try it on and definitely get a, a personal feel with my staff. And I don't think you get that in any department stores. And of course, product. I mean, we carry quality. The people that have already been here, they're going to keep coming back because they like the quality of the work and they like we're personable people in here and um, they enjoy they enjoy getting their stuff fixed at a reasonable price without a hard time 99% of the time. You come in without your claim check, you get a hard time. 
You can <laughs> give me a hard time, you get more of a hard time. You know, it's real simple, you know? The Wolfson School reported a 70% increase in worldwide shoe production between 1990 and 2004. Many of these shoes end up in landfills, contributing to the growing amount of global waste. Yet there is still this desire to buy and repair quality shoes. This holiday season, count how many shoes you own and whether or not you need another pair, or if there's something that can be fixed. Thank you for joining us with today's look on shoes. Have a great holiday season, and don't drink eggnog and drive.